I'm so excited to be here today with our most favorite Formula One drivers from McLaren, Daniel Ricciardo and Lando Norris. So we actually sourced a lot of questions from our own Cisco employees. Cisco has 75,000 people and we had to cherry pick some of the questions mm -hmm. and we are going to have fun. So with that, can we get started? Do you want to do Absolutely. Something? Okay. That's, we look beautiful, Tanya? we look presentable. I think we look good. Do you want to Ready sign? To go. Okay. Ah, okay. I yeah. call him Daniela. <laughs> and I call him Landora. Landora. Okay. Mm. Welcome, Daniela and Landora. So let's good. get started with that. So first one is, what got you interested in racing? Who wants to take that? I go first. What got me interested? Mm. My dad got me into racing. He used to play on the PlayStation, uh, on the games, and he took me one day to go and watch a race. I was like six years old at the time, so as soon as he took me to go and watch a race, then I wanted to have a go. And as soon as I had a go, I fell in love, and here I am. Yeah, my, so my dad raced a bit, so, but it was like I, I grew up at the racetrack, but it wasn't, um, it wasn't something, I guess, I, I, I grew up around it, but it wasn't something he like pushed onto me, but I think just like the sound, the smell, the speed, everything I was just very drawn to. I just loved that kind of high adrenaline feeling of motor racing. I, I liked that what that was you know, going to give me uh, when, when I got behind the wheel. What car do you guys drive when you're not racing? Uh, McLaren 765LT, baby. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How about you? <laughs> I have a McLaren GT. Okay. Because I'm a golfer. Oh, you're a golfer. I'm Landoran. Keep going, it's all right. I've just changed you a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I'm not an awkward. So who is your all-time favorite Formula One driver? It's it's a very, like, I guess obvious or very common, but for good reason, Ayrton Senna. What I liked is that he was, let's say, off, off track, loved by many, but on track, feared by many. Mm. So I really liked how he balanced that, and uh, that was cool. How about you? I don't have one. Don't have one? Sadly. So I will go with Daniel. <laughs> okay, he goes with Daniel. Danny Rick. You know, I grew up actually watching Daniel, so... Mm. Yeah. Have you guys had a speeding ticket? Yes. But I'm proud to say... Okay. In 15 years of having my driver's license... No, 16 years, two speeding tickets. I feel that's pretty good for 16 years. Oh no, what's your answer? Were you, oh, able, no, just... were you able to walk your way out of it? No, I was, this is when I was young, so that I, I was just Daniel back then. I, <laughs> I couldn't sweet talk, I had no, I had no power. Mm. I think we should just move on to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had a lot? <laughs> no, <I'm> just... <laughs> How do you guys stay focused to perform at the levels you guys perform? I think it's it's easy to be focused on something when you're passionate about something, you know. So that's that just comes with passion and enjoyment. It's kind of the desire to like fulfill your potential, and that motivates you. If you if you believe that you can win, be on a podium, uh, that's like that's kind of there. That's like your fuel to wake up, go training, and and yeah, go out and be your best on a race weekend. He said exactly what I was going to say, but it's it's true. Like if. You don't, we, we don't need anything to try and stay motivated. Like, we love doing what we're doing. Yeah, and ha have fun doing your exactly. job. Exactly. Right? So what is more satisfying, an overcut or an undercut? I think an overcut. What do you reckon? Overcuts. It's a little They're more... They're harder to achieve, I think. Yeah, normally harder to achieve. So if you can do an overcut, it's like... It's a bit more unexpected. Yeah. If you try an undercut... You probably can overtake them, but then there's a good chance they can possibly overtake you again. Whereas if you overcut, you kind of have to manage the race a little bit more, but then the speed at the end of the race is a lot better, so you kind of have a better feeling ending the race. So, overcut. Okay. So, pick your choice. The movie Rush or Days of Thunder? Days of Thunder, huh? Days of Thunder. Okay. Probably my most Original. watched movie as a kid. Okay. Yeah. You guys are race car drivers. Yeah. If you're not a race car driver, what would you be? Well, we were just speaking about this earlier. Mm. I played a lot of sports growing up, so I think I would have tried to pursue a different sport um, because I love that competition. I love that one-on-one. -on -one. Tennis was a sport I really enjoyed. I love the, the back and forth of tennis, the swings, you know, the momentum, all of that. It, it shifts so much through a, through a game, so I like that. Um, so I'm not saying I would have made it, but I would have at least probably tried to pursue tennis. 
I would have been probably a golfer. A golf I love ball. I love playing golf. So okay. um, golf. Sports. Uh, sports. And then in the night time, a DJ. A DJ. Wow. Okay. I love two jobs. Okay. Side, side hustle. A golfer by the day and a DJ by the night. Exactly. Love it. Okay. So <laughs> what we're going to do next is we are going to do a trivia challenge. Yeah. And we are going to test your McLaren knowledge. You are in. We got this. Okay. We're good, we're good. So first one, at what iconic race did McLaren make their first F1 debut in 1966? 1966? Okay. I think I've... I'm going to wear Send. <sighs> okay. There you go. What is, so does that mean, did you pick British? I put, I, yeah. There's only two of us, Daniel. I put 50 Belgium. and 50 they makes Belgium. 100, so... Oh, there are and Oh, I gotcha. All right. I understand this now. Okay, you have to pick one of the answers, right? Yeah. Which one's right? Did you pick it? The yeah, real yeah, answer? yeah, yeah. It's the Monaco Grand Prix. Oh. Oh, well. What a shame. Okay, <laughs> let's go to the edit, next wait, one. Wait, edit response. So oh, I'm going to change it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next, next question. The team scored its first F1 point with a sixth place at the 1966 British Grand Prix held at which circuit in the county of Kent? Okay, I got this. Kent. Wow, you got that right. It's the Brands Hatch. Thank you. We're on the board, baby. We're on the board. We are so good at this. Next one. Which single McLaren car has the most victories? I have no idea. <whistles> Just close your eyes and do that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it. It's M23. Yeah, yes. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's like 2007 or something. So I don't know, like... I wouldn't even know that. Oh. Last question. Oh, well. Who is McLaren's longest serving employee? Done. Look, I, I won this, because I'm the... I didn't look, I didn't look. <laughs> is it very text, You both it won. Is. Tex? Yes. There you go. Good Come on. Tex. Tex, Max, let's go. Rex, Tex, Max. Awesome. Okay, thank you so much, guys. No worries. This was such a fun exercise. It was. I hope you guys had fun as well. Hope you guys enjoyed all this activation which we brought forward for you at WebExpo. Thank you.